Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I have got a new video today. This one is kind of a weird one. It's about super hot Vior. Speaking of super hot, it is super hot right now in real life. 19 degrees Celsius at half one in the morning. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It just won't cool down. I can't sleep. I can't. Well, I can eat, as you can see. Anyway, that's besides the point. What caught my eye today was this post over on Redis or slash PSVR and it is by a user called Venser and this person posted that all scenes alluding to self-harm will be removed from Superhot on all platforms. So I followed the link, it leads to the Steam page where this update went live by American time that will be today as of this recording. I do not have Superhot installed on my PS5 so I don't know if it's out yet on PSVR but it is out on Steam. So this is what the update is. According to them, this is the patch notes. Skip disturbing scenes toggle was added in a previous update. Considering sensitive time we're living in, we can do better than that. You deserve better. All scenes alluding to self-harm are now completely removed from the game. These scenes have no place in super hot virtual reality. We regret it took us so long. We're committed to shipping this update to all the VR platforms from the Superhot team. So the Superhot team is based in some European country. English is not their first language, so some of this kind of sounds a little bit off, considering sensitive time we're living in, for example. So that's why that sounds a bit like that. Uh, it is an official update from the, de the developers. In terms of what I want to talk about, I'm going to go into a little bit of, well, probably big spoilers, I guess. For Super Hot VR, if you haven't played it yet, if you care about the story in that game, which, to be honest, I didn't really notice the story too much when I was playing through that game. I know there's something going on, but it's kind of one of those things you have to piece things together yourself if you want to figure it out. But, here's the spoiler warning. If you don't want to know what happens at the end of Super Hot, click away now, and, I don't know, come back when you figured it out or looked it up or played it yourself. Whatever. So, 3, 2, 1, spoiler warning, gone. So what happens at the end of Super Hoss is that you have to kill yourself. Basically, you shoot yourself in the head, but because you're in... Well, I can't even remember correctly what the reasoning is for that. I think it's to wake yourself up because you're in the virtual reality world and killing yourself is the way out or something like that. Either way, it doesn't matter what the reason is. The point is this was part of their vision. This is what they made. And it's not enough that they added this toggle in a recent updates or a previous updates skip disturbing scenes toggle so that's there already if that was bothering you you could hit that toggle and then you didn't have to see that it's just so strange that they're doing this and it sits wrong with me because i don't like that they're being forced to change it presumably because of some backlash now i must say i have never seen anyone complain about that scene so if there is backlash i imagine it's from a very small minority of people and for those minority people, they added the toggle already, but now the way it is, or now it's the way it's going to be after this patch, for everyone, that's going to be removed. So if you haven't played it before, and you update us, which naturally you would presume would be the wisest thing to do, update us, that's going to be changed. It's going to be taken away from you. Now, does that make the game worse? I'm not saying it makes it worse. I'm not saying it being in there made it better. But it was what the developers wanted. It was the original creative vision and it feels like they've been pressured into changing that to avoid backlash. So that's a, that doesn't sit quite right with me. I'm a little bit disappointed to see this and it's just it's so strange because, I mean, you could go to any amount of movies where the character or any character in it kills themselves, you know? And you wouldn't know that beforehand. So why is that okay or there's other games out there where there's suicide in us i know virtual reality is a little bit different because you're doing it yourself but i mean it's not like you've had experience kill killing yourself obviously because if you killed yourself you wouldn't have been playing this game in the first place so it's not like what is who's this affecting you know who's this affecting that other art pieces that include suicide isn't already being affected by this anyway like it, it just seems Really stupid to me. I don't like that. It sets a precedent. Art, or whatever you want to call it, can only be met a certain way now. Obviously, in the grand scheme of things, Super Hot VR is gonna. This is gonna fly under the radar of so many people, which is kind of why I'm making this video about it because it's probably gonna get lost in the shovel. I just don't agree with this. You know, I mean, I understand 
it can be upsetting for someone to experience like a, a simulation of suicide in a virtual reality game that's fine there's the toggle there for you if you want that or just don't play it but I've lost that choice now, you know, or all of you have lost that who wouldn't bother, you know, that's been taken from us, essentially, especially years later when it's already been done. I don't know. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. If you care about it at all, maybe you don't give a shit about it. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, but I thought it was worth mentioning. And that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Before I end this video, let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as I speak. Especially the top tier Patreon supporters. Tradition, Pete Hawkins, Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid, and Crum. Thank you very much for that generosity. It is appreciated. If you'd like to help me out on the Patreon, you can do so. The link to that will be in the description below. Let me also thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out, Decepticon.com. Link to him in the description below also. And with that, I will end this video. Until the next one, please stay nice and moist, which isn't too hard in these hot, hot times we're experiencing right now. My face is moist. My, do you see this moisture? Moisture right there. Wet. I'm gonna jar this. I'm gonna. Who wants to buy my sweats? Who wants to buy my gamer sweats? Hmm. Put your bids in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs>